What's going on everyone? This is Deadly. Today I'm playing some Daisy and I'm going to be showing you guys my Daisy configuration settings. First off, I do want to say this is not a guide for the config settings that you access through uh, documents. Uh, this is not a guide for launch option parameters for DayZ. If you're interested in that, I have linked a really good useful guide from another YouTube streamer, Nubs80, who I ran into in Civet Lajorsk a couple, I'd say probably a week and a half ago. And after stumbling upon his channel, I quickly realized there was way more that I could be doing to increase my frames and my quality of my live stream. And since then, I've basically been dedicated uh, to finding new ways to increase the quality of my stream, and it's been showing. Uh, ever since then, my stream has doubled in size, and I've been getting more and more viewers. Last Sunday, we peaked at over 200 concurrent viewers, and every single morning, we're getting around 100 viewers now, uh, compared to the 30 to 40 I was getting before. So definitely, my quality has increased, uh, which has also led to people to enjoy themselves on my stream uh, a lot more than they used to. And this is going to be, actually I'm recording this on open broadcast software, not DxTory. Um, for some reason I'm having some problems with DxTory tonight. Um, so instead of using that program, which is obviously it encodes at a very high quality, OBS is going to be just doing its best here. Um, but honestly, this allows me to play while streaming uh, at 40, uh, from 20, 20 frames at the very least, and that's in cities like Sivetla Jorsk with a large amount of zombies and players around. Um, prior to that, I was usually getting around 7 to 8 frames, and whenever you're out in the wild or in areas where there's not so much going on, like for example outside of Cherno right now, um, then you can get anywhere between you know 50 to 70 frames, which I'm getting right now. And it looks really good, and I love it a lot. Now again, I know there's a lot of videos like this out there online, so these are just my settings, these are what work for me, so they may not work for you. So definitely check out my machine information, which is in the description box below. Um, but ultimately, to be quite honest, uh, the config file in the documents and uh, the launch option parameters really didn't do a single thing for me. Uh, so this was the big change that actually made a huge difference for me. And it went from going uh, and getting a constant 8 frames in Sivetla Jorsk to over 20 to 30. Um, and obviously that's one of the cities that chugs the most. It's one of the hardest uh, cities to actually get good frames in. And now I can actually get sturdy frame rates and actually encounter uh, players and get into firefights without having that frame loss. And you may be wondering, is it really worth getting your frames up? Yes, it definitely makes a difference. If you're fighting somebody who's at 30 to 60 frames in the city, and you're only at 8, they're most likely going to win the firefight. It's just the way it is. Just because they can aim faster with much more accuracy. Uh, instead of you chugging along the, the screen trying to line up your shot. So what you want to do is open up your config settings. Now right off the bat, we're going to start off in video, of course. Um, now. Render resolutions. I leave this as my native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, which is 100%. I recommend changing this to 100% because it gives you the sexiest looking game. I want I want speed, but I don't want terrible quality. This is the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Like, look at the textures on those weapons. Like, I didn't really have to sacrifice much to get this quality. We're gonna start off in user interface. So resolution, native resolution. Uh, I like small just because, uh, you know, the icons, I don't like having big icons. Aspect ratio, my default native resolution on my screen, which is 16 by 9 aspect. That's all you have to do there, it's not a huge difference. We're going to go to textures. I leave my video memory at high, you can set it at um, whatever you wish, but I put it on auto. Now, texture details and filtering. Uh, I didn't get any frame drops or increases, so just choose whatever textures you like the most. For me, because I like crisp games, I'm putting it on very high. So just choose whatever you like here. It really isn't going to make too much of a difference. Quality. Uh, objects and terrain, I've set them to very low. This is where you gain the bulk of your frames. Having terrain quality up on very high um, or uh, any other than very low, uh, you're not going to get uh, the best performance. Uh, clouds. This is hilarious, and you may wonder what the hell am I doing here. 
but I'm serious. When I set my clouds on high, I get two extra frames per second. Uh, and it's, it's, I don't know what happens, but for me, I love clouds because it adds atmosphere to the game and disabling it, it just doesn't feel the same. So I was really pleasantly surprised that I actually run better with clouds on high than without. Shadows. This is some controversial uh, stuff because for a lot of people, people claim that turning shadows on very high increases your frames. Again, I spent over four and a half to five hours in Svetla Joris running up and down the roads, trying every single setting possible. And this is what I found out. Um, and obviously, listen, like I'm telling you, like setting it on very low, then going low, setting, like, it's like, it's like trying to hack into somebody's four digit safe. You start off at 111, 1112, 1113, 1114, you work your way up. And eventually, this is what worked the best for me. So disabling shadows was actually huge. So this is what I use. Uh, try what you want, but disabling shadows completely gave me a lot of performance increase. It was probably the biggest one, uh, you know, third to objects and terrain. Rendering. So anti-aliasing. I set it on high. It didn't really make too much of a difference what I set it on. Uh, high seemed to work best for me. Uh, alpha to coverage. Um, I actually thought I found that all trees worked best for me. Um, disabling it outright actually gave me worse frame rates. Don't know why. Not going to ask questions. It just did. Uh, edge smoothing. Uh, I found that SMA, uh, SMAA on high worked best for me and my quality and overall frames. HDR quality didn't make much of a difference. Uh, you can set it on low or very low. Didn't really change anything. Ambient occlusion, occlusion and post-process quality, disable those both, disable bloom, rotation blur. Leave that there for a second. Other than that, to be completely honest, those are my daisy settings. So I know I have a lot of questions about what I actually have set, but that should be the answer that you guys have been looking for. If you need me, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I can do my best to try to help you. But this is for my this is for my computer. Things might be different for you, so do your best. Experiment a little bit. Obviously, I went a little overboard. I didn't just do Daisy settings. Uh, if you're wondering why spend four hours, five hours working on things, I did other things like stream settings, Daisy settings, um, graphical overlays and panels, and a bunch of other stuff to sexify my stream. So it was a huge powwow session where I got a lot done. And this is basically where I found um, the nice even ground that works best for me. So anyways guys, I'll see you on my daily live streams. I start them at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard. And thanks again, and I hope you guys found this useful.